Hello everyone. Now we will start with a new topic and our new topic is Web Time Pro App App. Many time people will use the term Web Time Pro 4 App App or they will simply use the term Web Time Pro App App one and the same thing. And many times people use the abbreviation also WD4A means Web Time Pro 4 ABAP or WDA Web Time Pro ABAP. So if someone is using that term Web Time Pro 4 ABAP or Web Time Pro ABAP, one and the same thing. And many times people use the abbreviation WD4A and WDA. Now, what is Web Time Pro App App. It is a combination of three words. What is first word? Web. What is second word? Time Pro. And what is third word? App App. Now, what is Web? Web means we all know internet. Time Pro. Time Pro means dynamic programs or we can understand applications. App App we all know it is a programming language. So Web Dine Pro ABAP is a combination of three words. Web means internet, Dine Pro means dynamic program or applications, and your ABAP is a programming language. So what is Web Dine Pro ABAP? With the help of Web Dine Pro ABAP, you will develop the web applications using what? A BAP programming language. So what is Web Dine Pro A BAP? It is a UI technology. Yes, it is a user interface technology. Yes, we have an interface with which user will interact. So it is a UI technology which is used to develop web applications or you can understand internet applications in the ABAP environment or you can understand using ABAP programming language. So what is Web Dine Pro ABAP? For which purpose we are going for Web Dine Pro ABAP? So that we can develop the web applications or you can develop the internet applications in the ABAP environment or using the ABAP programming language. Now, whenever we will develop the applications, so Web Dime Pro ABAP has a graphical development environment. Whenever we will develop the applications, you will see we have a graphical development environment and we have special tools also. So that graphical environment and those tools are into one transaction code that is SCAP. And I use the word ABAP workbench. You all know what is ABAP workbench. It is a collection of ABAP tools or transaction code. Now, whenever we will go for developing a Web Dine Pro application, we will directly go to SC80 transaction code because SAP integrated your Web Dine Pro development environment and those tools which are used to develop the application into SC80 transaction code itself. And we all know, yes, ABAP Workbench is a collection of ABAP tools. ABAP Workbench is a collection of ABAP. ABAP Workbench is a collection of transaction codes or tool. So what is that transaction code? SC80. There is no need to go separate anything. SAP integrates each and everything, whatever is required into this particular transaction code. Now, whenever we will develop a Web10 Pro application, you will realize it is just like a module pool program of core app app. 
if you remember in module pool program what you are doing you are going for various input fields you are going for push buttons you are going for various you are designing so many things same to same thing we will do here the only thing is yes now we will go for internet applications we will go for web based applications and yes we will develop those applications into the ABAP environment and there is nothing there is no separate thing at all they, these all things are integrated into ABAP workbench itself and the transaction code is SC80 now now we will go for next important part and whenever any interviewer will ask you do you know web 10 pro abap this is the first question they will ask you now you are web 10 pro abap or what is the architecture of web 10 pro web 10 pro is based upon mbc model now what is mbc model m stands for model v stands for view and c stands for controller each and every web 10 pro is based upon this architecture or this model many time people will use the word architecture or many time people will use the word model one and the same thing m stands for model v stands for view and c stands for controller now what is this mvc so what is view what is view v stands for view view is user interaction part it means user will interact with the view whenever user will interact with the view it means all user interface element means your input field, drop down, push button, everything will be the part of what view. So what is view? It is just term itself is saying what is visible to us, what is viewing to us. So it means what is view? A view is a user interaction part. It means whatever the user interface elements, just like input field, buttons, drop down, everything will be the part of what view. Now, what is controller and what is model? Now, what is model? Model is always, always your business logic part. It means whatever the logic you will write, it is always, always in the model. And what is controller? Controller will act as a interface between the view and the model. Now, in the future, we will discuss what is the advantages of this model. So, each and every Web 10 Pro application is based upon MVC model. M stands for model. V stands for view and C stands for controller or we can say MVC architecture. What is this? Firstly, V. V is your view. View is your user interaction part. It means user will interact with the view. Whenever user is interacting, it means user will give the value or user will click on to the button or user will go for drop down. So each and every layout element is the part of your view. Now, what is model? Your business logic or you can say whatever the logic you will write, it is in the model. And between the view and the model, what is the interface? Controller is the interface. Now, firstly, we will understand this by a picture itself so that you will understand fully. Just see, suppose this is the view, this is the model, and what is the interface between both of them? Controller is the interface between both of them. And it is clearly saying, view is what? User interaction layer. 
it means user will interact user will interact with the view suppose i will show you by example also anyways we will develop web 10 pro applications suppose i am developing this or suppose i am running this application so that you can understand and the picture it will be in your mind how how you this mvc model is working suppose i am running this web 10 pro application suppose i will simply simply run this you will not get this kind of pop up suppose suppose i am this is your view this is your view because it is your user interaction layer it is your user interaction part suppose i am giving a input whenever i will click on to the submit button what system will do whenever i will click on to the submit button this input will go to the table it will fetch the details of sales document number one now my input or my request will not directly go to the database but is the interface between both of them controller is the interface between both of them so whenever i will click on to the submit button this input whatever i am passing it will go to the controller my request will go to the controller controller will pass it to the view a control sorry controller will pass it to the model and in the model you have the business logic you have written the business logic to fetch the data from vbak table this model will return the result to the controller and then it will be passed on to the view just see how mvc model is working in case of mvc model whatever the request you are passing from the view it will not directly go to your model controller will act as a interface whatever the request is there it will go to controller from the controller it will go to model yes model will process your input it will simply simply fetch the data because we have the logic part it will give the result to the controller it is not the case it will give the result to the view it will give the result to the controller and from the controller result will come on to the view that's why we are saying controller is acting as a interface between the view and the model so this is all about the mvc model in case of mvc model yes controller is acting as a interface between the user interaction part and the business logic part business logic part means you have written the queries whatever the queries are there to fetch that data now what is the summary of this particular video up to this level in this video we started with a new topic and our new topic is web time pro app or you can say web 10 pro 4 app, app. now what is web 10 pro app, app or web 10 pro 4 app, app it is a combination of three word web means internet dime pro means applications app, app means programming language it means we it is a, a ui technology it is a user interface technology which is used to develop internet applications or web-based application in the ABAP environment and yes we webden pro ABAP because you will develop webden pro application so we have the graphical environment we have the various tools so sap integrates all these things into one transaction code that is SCAT and we have written a BAP workbench and we all know a BAP workbench is a collection of a BAP tools or transaction code 
and to develop a Web10 Pro component or application, the transaction code is SC18. Then I told Web10 Pro is just like a module pool program. Whenever you will develop a Web10 Pro application, it is just like a module pool application. Because in module pool, you know, you are going for various drop downs, buttons, you are going for input output field. Same thing we will do here also. Now, Web10 Pro is based upon MVC architecture or MVC model. M stands for model, V stands for view, C stands for controller. V means view, view. With what is viewing to us, what is visible to us, it means it is user interaction part. It, how user will interact? User will interact through input. User will interact through buttons. User will interact through top down. So all UI elements are the part of your view. Now, what is model? In the model, we have the business logic part. And controller is the interface between the view and the model. Then I showed you the example. Whenever you will give a input through the view, it does not mean that it will directly go to the model. Controller will take your request. It will pass your request to the model. Model will work on your request. Then model will pass the response to the controller and controller will pass the response to the view. So controller is acting as a interface between the user interaction layer and the business interaction layer. Or you can understand controller is a interface between the view and the model. In the next video, we will understand how, how MVC model is, how this MVC model is giving us the advantages. What are the advantages of this model? And what are the advantages of your Web10 Pro? This part we will continue in the next video. So that's it in this video. Thank you.